In this video, I'd like to demonstrate can hacking on a real car, step by step from the beginning to the end. Before we start, we need to choose the right hardware and software. I can share my solution along with an explanation how to use it. My own experience covers STM32, mostly F105 and 205, but if slightly changed, the project in my repository would work with other chips. The project architecture supports CAN gateway mode for engine and powertrain networks, CAN filter for you, you can use your custom functions here. Can scanner with two networks supported. Can trace injection. Just save a trace and play it back into a network. And finally, a custom bitrate. 500 kilobits is a default speed. All configurations can be found here in device model file. Here you can set a compilator or environment you are using uh, GCC or Kale and buffer sizes. Just make sure you have enough RAM and many many other settings. In the function named process calibrator procedure you can implement your own logic for filtering traffic coming from CAN1 into CAN2. As long as an application is not supposed to contain a business logic, a good choice is to use Qt. This allows you to make cross-platform applications such as Android, Windows and Linux. In the first place, the application has been a speedometer converter, but later I added some research functions and you can find the sources on my repository and, and compiled versions as well. The hardware can be different, but the general configuration is STM with two CAN transceivers and USB. Flash memory chip is highly recommended, but not necessary. You asked me. How can I find a proper piece of hardware? It's up to you. You can slap together a dev board like this or find some in anti-theft alarm systems. When I've been stripping down for parts a lot of car electronics, I was lucky to find just a lot of them. All of them have similar hardware configuration. I have arranged six main presets in device model file. You are free to add a new one. Now it's time to have some practice. Our target vehicle would be Honda CRV and our tutorial task would be to change tachometer and speedometer values. A safe access point is located here behind a dashboard. Plug in a USB cable and launch the application. Here are the recommended settings. In the first place, make and save message trace on a running car. And uh, this is important. Uh, set your uh, laptop power settings uh, at maximum performance. Mm, this is really important because uh, when you are off uh, the power network, a laptop can go into a power saving mode and then slow down all the process.
application supports trace replay back into a network. Can injection has some limitations. See the details in repository description. This is a message injection demonstration on a table. Here in the monitor section you can see all the IDs in the network sorted. Now you need to find the IDs corresponding to tachometer and speedometer. Uh, for example, uh, uh, on the analyzer page, uh, now I need to, to pick a single one ID. For example, 158. So I am erasing all the IDs except 158. Uh, first, uh, in the first place, crop the IDs before 158 and crop the rest. Okay, uh, then uh, what do we expect to see if it's a speedometer? We need to find a pair of bytes uh, increasing from zero and Fallen, fallen back to zero, uh, like uh, uh, so. I got it here. Uh, you can see uh, the the bytes uh, fifth and sixth are slowly increasing. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, whatever, whatever. You see, uh, the ID, the message value is increasing from zero uh, to something else, and finally returns to zero again when I stopped the vehicle. So. Uh, let's say it could be a speedometer. Now you go back to the car and implement an override filter. You, you replace the byte uh, number 4 and 5 with a custom value. Uh, just make it greater than in, uh, in, your, tra in your trace. Okay, so the, uh, the 
values uh, replacement is successful and now you can say for sure that the bytes 4 and 5 uh, are corresponding to speedometer okay the whole process can be long and boring so i'm skipping that the main idea is to pick every single id from your trace list and try to replace it with some greater values like like this and see what is happening on your dashboard this software set can be a good alternative to fancy can tools also it comes with a buffered gateway tested on high loaded networks